So we're making some progress. <laughs> Good morning! It has been a while since I have done a day in the life of a small business owner and I thought today would be a good day to do it because we have orders just piling in, we have soap that needs to be made, we have bath bombs that need to be painted, so there is a lot that's going on today. It's Sunday, a day where most people are just sleeping in and not doing much and relaxing. Not us, not us business owners, right guys? right? You know what I'm talking about. For those who are interested in getting a life like this for themselves, here is kind of the reality when it's the Christmas season and orders are coming in and it's crazy and you don't really have much time for yourself at all. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this and, and gain some insight into what it's like when your business takes off because that is that is the reality we're living right now. So as you can see in, this is my iPhone here and we have four Shopify orders and 15 Etsy orders 15 so that oh it's hard to see but it says 15 we have to get all of these orders out the door we already have most of the boxes laid out here but we still have a lot of orders that we need to create boxes for and finish up and label these bath bombs need to be labeled oh these bath bombs are already labeled but we also fill the boxes up with crinkle this is some of the paper that we use to help fill up our boxes and you can see over here that the crinkles practically gone yeah we go through a lot of this but we want to protect our bath bombs so something we got to do and then over here we still have to paint these guys this is our Georgian Bay bath bomb and these this is our peaches and cream bath bomb these are gonna be painted in gold and pink and this is gonna be gold and I'm not sure maybe white gold and white we're really low on white so I don't know if we're gonna do something different with those guys Kayla's in there whipping up some body butters. It's the last of the body butters that we need for our wholesale order. So once he gets that done, we can start getting that order out the door. And this was our biggest wholesale order that we've had yet. So it took quite some time to get together. Whew, it was a lot of work, but he is the real MVP. He's been making all of the body butters that we needed to make. I think it was 92 jars of body butters and helping us label everything. So good job, boo. Thank you. We're on the same team. Same team. <laughs> and these are all of the painted bath bombs. These still need to be wrapped up. Um, a few of these orders need our Georgian Bay and peaches and cream. So we got to get that done. We can do that right now. I got this question recently and I guess I've never answered it before, but I'll answer it here. I also answered the person who asked this in the comments, but this is 60 gauge film and it's the biodegradable biolefilin, biolefin, biolefin? Am I saying that right? Anyways, it's the 60 gauge biolefin biodegradable film from the National Shrink Wrap System and I have their website linked in the description below. And this is the 18 inch wand. It's the big one. <laughs> Do I recommend the system? Yes, I definitely, definitely do. It is such a huge time saver and I'm able to wrap these guys safely and securely. And the best part is all biodegradable in five years or so instead of the 100 plus that normal film usually takes. So thank you so much for having such a great product. Love the stuff. So we have these bath bombs that need to be labeled before we can ship them out and what we do is we pre-print the labels of our bath bombs ahead of time so I just have to find the right label, go on these guys and then we can start getting these packages out the door. But look at all these labels, like I need to find 
a better way to classify or organize this so that it's not so hard to find them when I need them. So here I am looking at my labels. I do all of my labels in Photoshop and I've had this question before since I'm in Canada whether or not I put my ingredients in French and I don't. I put them in common INCI. Yeah, just find out what all of these ingredients are in common INCI and you should be good to go. Now I've gotten this question a bunch too and that is how exactly I print my labels and when it comes to my bath bomb labels I go to Avery and I use their blank templates so right now it's on template number 8164 I'm gonna put in my template that I use which is a blank template it's the 79795 and I will select that select this template and then I will select the blank design and so now I have this completely blank page here I'm gonna zoom in to make it bigger. I'm sorry about the noise. Kale's making body butters in the background. That's the reality. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna make it bigger. Then I'm gonna upload my image that I made in Photoshop. My image being my label. And let me find it. Uh, another tip is to be very organized because you're gonna have to keep track of so many different things. So I need some cherry bomb labels. This one, yeah. Oh no, it's not. See how I add the, um, I had the date to the end of all of my labels and that helps me keep track of what's the latest version of it. So I'm gonna pick, I think it's this one. Yeah, 1129. I'm gonna choose that and then it pops up on here and it's not sized right, so I have to adjust the size, but I go here and I change it to, to seven inches and that auto changes the height as well. And now it's the right length and I'm gonna drag this to the very top and make sure it's centered. And there you go. And then I will just easily copy and paste the same label over and over again. And then that is how I print my label. I just copy and paste the labels until this sheet is completely covered. And then I will print that from my printer. So now it is all filled out. You can see that it fits perfectly 18 labels. I also needed some French lavender as well. So now that it's all filled out, I'm gonna go over to preview and print and it'll show you what it'll look like, looks good to me. I'm gonna get the PDF to print. I'm not gonna save this. And I download the PDF and bam. Oh, nope, wait for it, wait for it. Bam. <laughs> and that's it right there. You wanna make sure the right printer is, is selected. We have two printers, so this is the right printer. And I'm going to put in some cardstock and then click print. People have been curious about what type of printer I use and I use the HP Color Laser Jet Pro, this model, and I got this from Costco. I love Costco, I get a lot of our supplies from there as well as our equipment and it's a really good printer. I don't really have issues with it. It's pretty reliable. I really recommend laser printers for your product labels because it's provides the most crisp and clean and waterproof labels, or I don't know if all laser is waterproof, is it? I'm not sure, but I definitely love this printer. And, and if you are planning to be a small business owner with products, I think that's something that you, I think that's something that's well worth the investment. So I'm gonna take these labels that I printed out and I'm gonna cut them with my paper cutter and then label those guys and hopefully get these orders out the door. So I have the bath bombs all wrapped and you can see how the seven inch width of the label fits perfectly, or sorry, I should say the width of the paper of the cardstock fits perfectly around. And there's like a, just enough, excuse me. There's just enough space to put glue and to close that label up so that it's a nice secure fit. So I've got these guys and what we'll do is wrap again with another layer of film and the reason why we do that is because we want to protect these bath bombs from humidity and also just kind of give it a, a little bit extra layer of cushion. I've had a really bad experience in the summer with them getting soft and crumbling and I ever since I've been doing the double layer for shipping bath bombs out, I haven't had that issue at all so I really do think that protecting them as much as you can is something that you should try to do when you're shipping out bath bombs. Thank you for drinking the water, Bush.
So I got these bath bombs labeled, and as you can see here, we have these sticky notes that tell us what exactly each order needs. And I worked at a restaurant for my first couple of jobs were at restaurants, and I remember that they had chits that the orders would print out on, and that's kind of the system that we have here. Not very not super complicated, but yeah, it really helps us keep track of what we need and what's missing. So if you have a lot of orders, I recommend having some sort of chit system that will help you keep track of everything. So now what's left to do is to add the stickers, add the fill, add in our branding cards, and this one should be good to go. So we're making some progress. <laughs> We've built out most of the boxes that we need for Etsy. They still need a few things here and there that we still need to make, but a lot of these we can knock out, knock out by the end of today at least. So, whew, a lot of work to do. <clears throat> and so after I put them all together, we have the system, Kale and I, where after we build one, then the other person creates the shipping label and then I will, or the other person will, make sure that the address on the shipping label is correct. So if you're able to do that, I suggest you do it because mistakes can happen and it's always good to have two pairs of eyes on a package. This is Kale verifying the contents. Cherry bomb, candy cane, and French lavender. Nice. Is that everything? We got yep. it? And no note. And no note, perfect. So I just finished the lavender balls and the watermelon balls and I will bring these downstairs to go to sleep for 24 hours and then we'll paint the watermelon balls tomorrow. And yeah, so that is done. And then over here we have some oils that are melting because I am now going to make some soap. <laughs> yep, it's nonstop in the quench studio. How's the progress in Good. here? <laughs> it's going, going well. We got some uh, some packages for audit for audit over there. Perfect. And, um, I haven't got to a lot of these just because I've made some of these personalized cards. Here. Nice. So. Yeah, we like to add um, these Christmas cards or even um, just personalized messages, and just because it's uh, Christmas time, people have been adding Christmas cards in with their gifts. So that's kind of a little extra special thing that we offer and it really I think helps with sales because people like that little bit of a customized touch from our company yeah and it's really sweet to kind of see some of their messages even though we don't see even though we don't know these people or know one bit about them it's just kind of nice seeing the messages that they're writing there for us there's a lot of love and there's a lot of heartfelt uh, messages going out into the world and it's fun to be the provider of that. Yeah, I know that this Christmas is gonna be really tough. It's the first Christmas since this whole craziness started and you know, if we could help families connect in however way that we can help, then we're happy to provide that to our customers. Hey guys, it is now nighttime. It's super dark. We've had an entire day of making things and getting packages out the door. I was able to get a batch, two batches of bath bombs done. Now two batches of soap done, and I will show you those in a minute. Let me flip this around. And I was able to get a batch of French lavender soap done and a batch of raspberry vanilla done. And these are two of my best selling soaps. This is lavender buds that are on top of the lavender soap. And these are just candy sprinkles on top of my raspberry vanilla soap. And an interesting thing about these soaps in particular, I made the lye yesterday and I ran out of time. I wasn't able to actually make the soap yesterday, but I had that lye mixed from yesterday and I used that same lye today. And I normally soap at around 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning my, my lye solution, my lye and water solution is between that temperature and so are my oils. So today I was technically soaping at room temperature 
and I normally don't do that and I was actually curious to see what the outcome would be. There's definitely a difference. Normally I like my soaps a little bit more textured than this and I did notice that soaping at room temperature keeps them liquid a lot longer than what I'm used to. If you are having issues with acceleration and your soap is getting thick too fast, that's one thing you can try doing is soaping at a cooler temperature around room temperature. And I was a little worried about getting false trace or it not working right, but everything was fine. The only thing was the soap moved a lot slower than what I was used to. So yeah, we're both very tired, but we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We got a lot of our packages finished and we're getting caught up on that so that's really good because that was something that was worrying me for a little bit and i think with that being said there's still a lot of work to do tonight and i think i'm going to sign off on this vlog on this day in the life right now so that we can focus on getting more work done we have to eat dinner in a little bit there's so much to do i really hope that you guys enjoy this kind of video again if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe so much more to come if you're already subscribed hi guys and thank you again so much for watching and you guys have been so awesome i love reading your comments if you have any questions about what you saw today please leave those questions in the comments below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can so for everybody watching keep smiling keep being awesome keep crushing it and keep growing and i will see you guys in the next one bye